When the James Webb Space Telescope first turned its golden mirrors toward the early universe, astronomers expected to see young galaxies, faint, diffuse, and slowly forming. But what they found instead shocked everyone. Hidden deep in the infrared data were tiny, compact, intensely red objects that didn't fit any model of how the early universe should look. They weren't big enough to be normal galaxies. They weren't bright enough to be quasars. And yet, they glowed with a strange reddish hue, as if hiding something powerful inside. Astronomers started calling them little red dots. The first little red dots appeared in late 2022, during James Webb's early deep field surveys, some of the most detailed looks humanity has ever taken into the ancient universe. When Webb's instruments captured light that had traveled for over 13 billion years, astronomers noticed these compact red sources at redshifts between 4 and 8, meaning we're seeing them as they were just 600 million to 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. At first glance, they didn't make sense. Each was incredibly small, sometimes just a few hundred light years across, a fraction of the size of the Milky Way. Yet, their infrared glow was far stronger and redder than expected. One group of astronomers proposed that these dots were ultra-compact, dusty, star-forming galaxies essentially small pockets of space where stars were forming in massive bursts. If that were true, then these objects would represent some of the most intense star factories in the early universe, burning through gas and dust at incredible speeds. The red color could come from thick interstellar dust absorbing blue light and re-emitting it as infrared radiation, which is exactly what James Webb is designed to detect. When scientists analyzed the light from these little red dots, they found broad Barmer emission lines, evidence that gas inside them was moving at extremely high speeds. That suggested intense gravitational forces, the kind usually caused by supermassive black holes. In other words, these might not just be star-forming galaxies, they might be galaxies with active black holes, accreting matter and releasing enormous energy. On the other hand, if they were just starbursts, there shouldn't be such high-velocity dispersions, the stars and gas shouldn't be moving that fast. Instead of choosing between two competing explanations, starburst or black hole, they suggested both could be true, just at different moments in time. A dense pocket of gas collapses, forming stars at furious rates. The galaxy becomes compact, bright, and dusty, a red dot dominated by stellar light. As mass piles up in the center, gravity becomes overwhelming. The dense core collapses further, creating a massive black hole seed, perhaps 100,000 to a million times the mass of our sun. Eventually, that black hole begins feeding on surrounding material, igniting as an active galactic nucleus, AGN. At this point, the system would emit strong X-rays and radio waves, but in the little red dots, this ignition hasn't fully begun yet. That's why most of them are quiet in X-rays, they're pre-AGN, right before the black hole wakes up. This interpretation beautifully connects the dots, literally, between early starbursts and later active galaxies. If Escala's model is correct, little red dots are the missing link between the first galaxies and the first black hole's snapshots of the moment when one transformed into the other. But according to traditional models, there simply wasn't enough time for them to grow that big. If little red dots truly mark the formation of the first black holes inside ultra-dense galaxies, then black holes may have begun their lives much earlier, and much faster, than we thought. In the modern universe, we know that a galaxy's central black hole typically makes up only about 0.1% of the galaxy's total mass. The James Webb Space Telescope has only just begun its mission, and more spectroscopic and X-ray observations are planned to study these strange dots in greater detail. Future instruments, like the Athena X-ray Observatory and Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, will help confirm whether hidden black holes are really lurking inside these compact red galaxies. If confirmed, astronomers will have direct evidence of black hole birth in real time, something never before observed. We'll finally see how matter, light, and gravity intertwined in the first billion years of the cosmos to create the colossal engines that power galaxies today. Little red dots are no longer just curiosities in James Webb's deep field images, they might be the Rosetta Stone of cosmic history. They connect star formation, galactic collapse, and black hole growth into one continuous story, the story of how the universe built its first structures. They remind us that even in the earliest times, the cosmos was already busy creating complexity, compact, energetic, and mysterious systems that defy our expectations. And with every new web observation, 
we're peeling back another layer of that ancient story, revealing how chaos turned into order, and how the first seeds of darkness grew into the brilliant galaxies we see today. The little red dots are tiny, faint, and distant, yet they might hold the answers to the greatest question in cosmology, how did everything begin? Because sometimes, the smallest things in the sky carry the biggest secrets in the universe. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of James Webb's most mysterious discoveries, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, it helps us keep exploring the hidden corners of the cosmos and bringing you the stories science is only just beginning to tell. Drop a comment below, what do you think these little red dots really are? Are we seeing galaxies giving birth to black holes? Or something even stranger?